Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom. I'm here today with Anthony Stevenson at Johnny Selected Seeds, and you've got propane on your back and a lighter and this flamethrower. What are you doing? Dave, this is called a backpack flame weeder, and it's an organic, uh, labor-saving way to weed your garden without using harmful herbicides. That's awesome. Anthony, uh, it's fairly warm out here working in the garden. How much does this thing weigh? Uh, empty Dave, it weighs 22 pounds with a full tank on your back. It's 34. Obviously, the weeds can't live in the heat, but how does it work? Dave, you turn the tank on, and then there's a little valve here that you turn on. You strike it out the flint, and then really, you just pull this trigger right here, and you walk them down the rows. Do you want me to give you a demonstration? Anthony, I'd like to see the demo, but I'm going to step aside just in case. Not right. that anything's going to happen. Come back every week for all of our tips and helps here at Growing Wisdom, and we're going to watch Anthony kill some weeds. The procedure is to move down the row at a slow walk. It is not necessary to burn the weeds. The flame only needs to overheat the tissues to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. They will have a glassy look and will wilt in a few hours. Be careful when weeding close to plastic mulch as not to melt or burn the mulch. You should tend to plant the crops for flame weeding slightly deeper than usual so that you have more leeway from germination to seedling emergence. It is better to flame a little early than too late. If you are one day too late and the seedlings have emerged, the flame weeding will kill them as well as the weeds. Steam is an indicator of spending too much time on a given area. 